It's Thursday and I really have no time to be filming this. It is as windy as crap outside. I just rushed out to get a paper that I have to critique tonight and it was like windy 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 all the way up and I was walking against the wind in the wind um, and it was bad. I always like fly around because the wind is stronger than me. So I was like juggling all this stuff trying to walk through the wind and cars were stopping to let me go which was nice but it's crazy out there man. I'm I'm lucky I didn't get blown into traffic or something. That's the sort of thing that would happen to me. So today was on the whole crazy anyway. First of all, I woke up at around 11. Don't laugh. I woke up at around 11 to the sound of our fire alarm going off. But instead of being a normal person and being like, oh my god, I should wake up. I just, I was like, ugh, shut up, fire alarm. And um... Eventually, I couldn't take it anymore, and I got up. And it was because my roommate had her clothes in the dryer, and sometimes it makes the roof hot, I think, just because there's a lot of, um, fumey. I don't, I don't know what it's called. It's not smoke, it's not fumes, but it, there's a lot of heat coming up into the roof. And so the smoke alarm freaks out because it's hot really close to where it is on the wall. And it just starts going beep, 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 and it won't shut up, and... So I need to talk to her about perhaps not doing her laundry during the day because at night it's cooler and then it's not a problem. But yeah, I got woken up and then I, s I went back to sleep until 11.30 because I have a class at 12.30 so I sleep until 11.30. So I'm reading The Last Harry Potter. I'm probably like the last person in the world to read The Last Harry Potter. But I do really like it so far. It's one of those books where you start reading it and once you get pretty much past the first chapter you're like really into it. The first chapter of Harry Potter books is always a little wonky. I don't really know why exactly. I think it's mainly because she has to sort of set things up again. But, oh my god, I couldn't believe it. This is the part where you should probably, if you haven't read the book, but I, as I said, I'm probably the last person in the world to have read it. But if you haven't read it yet, this is the part where you should go la 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 la. The part where George lost his ear? I was like, what? George has been my favorite character since probably the first movie. Not the first book, but when I first saw them in the movie, I love Fred and George. But George has always been my favorite. I don't really know why. I mean, they're not that different. But when he lost his ear, I was like, oh, I know how that feels, even though I still have the outer part, which has a word. And it was on my psychology test today, and I already forgot it. But anyway, the part made me really sad, but luckily he survived, like Mrs. Weasley said if you've... yeah. It's awkward trying to talk about things that could potentially be spoilers. So I was just looking at the playback and why does my mouth look so red right now? Maybe it's because of the shirt? It's not used to... Do mouths do that? Anywho... So, the office is on tonight. That's exciting. Um, we're potentially going to be Skyping some more with some stuff. This is mostly a mental note for me. We're potentially Skyping tonight, Sarah. Um, but I always look forward to that. Even if we're supposed to be having a meeting, I still look forward to it because I love talking to my friends. Just hearing their voices makes my week. That's why Fripe Friday Skype has become we have to do it every Friday or I cry. So I love hearing my friends' voices. And I love Mr. Pibb. Is anyone else really glad that this week is almost over? This week has been really long and stressful for me. So, I'm glad that tomorrow is Friday. Really looking forward to Sunday. Three more days. This is becoming a vlog staple. Gandalf has remarkable balance, doesn't he? I feel like I've been doing this for hours. Is this a good look for me? This is a sign that my hair wants me to have bangs because I've had these little short hairs in the front of my hair for as long as I can remember. 
It makes ponytails effing ridiculous. And in the wind, these get blown in my face. So all today I was walking around with like a bunch of hairs in my face and I was like, I look horrible. So you probably think that this shirt is just white, right? Because it just looks white. But actually, if I stand awkwardly, you'll see that there is a girl at the bottom. I love these corduroy pants. A lot. Even if they do sometimes make me slide out of my chair when I'm laughing at too many dicks. I said dicks. So until Sunday, this is Thursday. I just saluted with the wrong hand.